Good morning. It is, uh, what is today? Sunday. Today's Sunday. Today's what? Day three. Mm -hmm. day three. Today is day three, and we are in Honduras. We are in Roatan, and I would show you the island, but we're not pointed towards the island. We don't know what time we get off the ship. It is now daylight savings time. Everybody but us moved to our head. We thought, I guess our phones changed because our phones say 9.30. Uh, the ship time's 8.30 and Roatan time is 7.30. So, not confusing at all. Cannot change airplane mode because it'll probably automatic changes to uh, their time, you know? <laughs> Ooh, we so confusing. Right We're gonna try to get off the ship. We haven't heard an announcement, but according to the planner, it says we get here at eight, we get off the ship at 8.30. And we have an excursion. Yeah, we gotta get off to be able to get our excursion or we will be left behind. So, and we gotta find it. All right, let's head on out and see what happens. our tour section finally a little confusing but we found it uh, we're on the Victor Baden tours and they told us to go to this hut and wait so that's what we're doing there's part of the ship I'm hoping I can get a good shot of it later but there's part of it all right we are on the bus and headed off to whatever adventure I just booked a lot of signs Victor Baden's Jungle Canopy Zipline Monkey and Sloth Sanctuary. That's not easy to say. We got our tags. She's got her tag. Start off in the gift shop. Buy a sloth. Buy a monkey. Buy a maraca. Or buy a shirt. All right, here we are. Is the Mayo. And there's the little fellas chilling. <laughs> hey, little guys. Hey, yeah, little buddy. Okay, we're all coming in. We are in the monkey cage. <laughs> Don't worry. Probably need to take my glasses off my head or they're going to have those. <laughs> oh, here they come. Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! That's Pablo and your buddy. Don't get scared, guys. How are you doing? Thanks for visiting. That was funny. Oh, and you're back. You just can't get enough. Oh, there you go. Oh, hey. Nice job. Wow, that was cool. Hey, there you are again. Hey. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm trying to see what he's doing. Hey, buddy. I don't have any sunflower seeds, buddy. Oh, you're looking. Oh, you like that? Look. Look. Yeah, it's a cattail. It's a kitty cattail. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh goodness, and but there you are. There you are. Oh, here comes the food. I don't think I need food to keep him on me. He looks like your shampoo. Yeah, maybe. Oh! <laughs> he likes the guys. Oh, he was scratching. Okay. Oh, thank God. Hey, buddy. Okay. What is it? What is it? Oh, you want that cat? That's what it is. It, it, I promise it's not a, you're choking me with your tail. Oh, 
Oh, and he's going down my shirt. Is he going down my shirt? Okay. No. Okay. Oh, 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 That's what he's doing. <laughs> hey, little guy. Hey, little guy. Hey, that's my hair. <laughs> yeah, they don't know what this thing is on my camera. This is cool. Monkeys. Our friendly little monkeys. Oh, hey, buddy. There you are. How you doing, bud? What are you doing? What are you doing? If I've got stuff in my hair, you can go ahead and clean it out. What you got? What are you doing? Are you recording? Yeah. Hey, scratch it. We're not allowed to touch it. No, I guess not. He's <laughs> pulled my hair. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to show Dee. Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah, Dee's going to be so mad. What is it? What do you got going on up there? There you go. Oh, no. Okay. I think he's scared of the camera. Well, he's not. What is it? You want to play with the cat? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has a monkey on their head. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you want to see this? You want to see this? Adorable. Yeah, yeah, it's like little bitty kids running around playing on adults. There's the old monkey chicken. Oh, oh no. Nope, nope, I'm in line of fire. Hey guys. Hey buddy. Yeah, how are you? Hey little man. Oh, he's got you. Say, I got you. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't know what to think about that, do you? It's <laughs> like, I don't know what that fuzzy thing is. I don't like it. Headed to the sloths. We gotta watch the dripping. We even have to go in the trees and get them because they don't like the kamdong guys. This is the only type of leaf they eat, trumpet leaf. We also grow it natural here on the island. We have to pick it every morning guys because they don't drink any water. They digest the water from the same leaf they're eating guys. And it's not too many what they're eating about the leaf a day, 8 gram a leaf a day. They don't burn too many energy guys, so that's why. Yeah, right. A lot of people get scared about the nails, but they don't use them to hurt anyone guys. They only use them to climb, okay? They can't even defend themselves guys. You wanna go first? Yeah, let me do it first. Oh, good news. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. There you go. I just White bud. Hey, buddy. Look at you. Hey, buddy. That's a mail mark. That's not so sorry. You see, the ladies don't have it. Oh, yeah, he's stinky. Yes, you are. That one is Priscilla, and this is Ali. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, well. Well, I... Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. He's eating. You could go around if you want. Okay. You want to go sleepy? La niña, though. Yeah, she can hold the little one. Her <laughs> you gonna play, buddy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good, man. Oh, there is a baby right there. You are 
so cute. That is the cutest thing in the world. Bye, little guy. A lot of rain coming down there. Yeah. Where are we headed? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Little man. Mm. That was milk chocolate. Better, much better than dark. I don't like dark. Too it's bitter. Healthy. It's the healthy one. It's also the most distasteful one. Yeah. So, well, now. Yeah, the sacrifice. The second one was really good. Okay, guys, and the last mm. one is white chocolate with ginger. White chocolate with what? Oh, okay. So this was just white chocolate. We're done with the chocolate class. But I do want to show you the very cool fish right here. Look at the fishy. But what's cooler than the fishy is the big hotel with the turtle on it. Is that not cool? So we are now in the beach part. Let's be. Okay, we are now at the beach on another adventure at, I uh, don't know where we're at, I'll have to edit that in. Pretty beach, hot day, we got a couple of hours here before we have to head back to the ship. That's the one thing that we are definitely nervous about because we are not on a Royal Caribbean excursion. We did our own, so. Just making sure everything's all good. Okay, we are back. Uh, got a little rainy at the uh, beach, so they were so kind to get us a ride back early. We weren't even supposed to be back here until about one. Uh, but yeah, they just said, yeah, we'll take you right now. So they took us and another family back to the ship. So, really cool. Did you enjoy it, team? I did. I did. The sloths were a new thing for me. The monkeys <laughs> I've always loved. But they were really sweet. Yeah, they're so gentle and so slow. I can't wait to see the video that I did of that because they would turn their head just so slow <laughs> and look at you like... Can I help you? <laughs> this is where we're at now. We're at the port. There's the ship. Part of it that I cannot get. I was trying to get a full shot of the ship, but we're so close to it, you can't really get it. But there it is. And here's all the little shops at the port. Get you some hats, all kinds of cool stuff. Get you a Honduras soccer jersey. But yeah, what a, that was a good day. That was a good trip. I do recommend the uh, Victor Baden tours, which is what we took. It is not Royal Caribbean affiliated, which made us a little nervous, but they were extremely nice. Did a really good job making sure that we needed everything. They would stop, let us take pictures and stuff. So yeah, really cool little uh, tour here in Honduras. All right, we're gonna head back to the ship. We'll see you later. Okay, and we're back. No 
shirt. Oh, it is a new shirt, my new Vacation Voyager shirt. We just got back from Honduras, Roatan. We got a little bit of rain. Uh, we were at the beach and we could have stayed longer, but the other people that we were with that did the same tour, since it was raining at the beach, nobody really wanted to get back out in the ocean and do anything, so we came back. And the other thing is, we're so daggum scared when you don't do a Royal Caribbean excursion, they won't wait for you if you're late. So we were paranoid about that, not because we don't know how to tell time, but the way the time is working right now, the ship time is one thing, but when you get off of the ship, you cannot pull up the Royal app. So everybody had to try to synchronize their watches. We're an hour behind in Honduras. So if it's two o'clock ship time, one o'clock Honduras, we have not done the spring forward yet for daylight savings. So we're still on regular time. It's so confusing. So yeah, we wanted to make sure we just got back on the ship on time because like I said, we had one of the you know private tours that they do out here on the island so but anyway everything's grand did you enjoy it did you yes, like I, the sloths uh -huh, i did enjoy the sloths um if you do that excursion be prepared because they will have little showers come up so oh, maybe yes. carry a poncho or something in your backpack um monkeys like shiny things so you don't <laughs> want to wear earrings or i guess they like fuzzy small balls too because oh, they God, were going yes. after Heath's camera. Yes. <laughs> so. The only yeah, only downfall was we didn't really get to do a whole lot at the beach and it, that was my fault because like I said we didn't have towels. Um, we brought all of our stuff but the place we stayed at uh, is called Bananarama and it's like a little resort and it's a dive resort so they have snorkeling excursions and diving excursions at that Bananarama area and yeah you can take a snorkeling tour they have a reef that they boat you out to I couldn't do it because we didn't have enough time at the uh, beach at least I didn't want to risk it and not have enough time to get back to the ship so anyway but it's all good we enjoyed it so now we're starving we were scared to death to eat anything off the ship so we did have a drink, pina colada, a little West Bay punch. We're gonna go eat now. Come back, we are eating lunch in a windjammer. And I love the scene. I love this circular buffet area, but this is what I was talking about raining all day. It is pouring down rain right now. And look all the way down there to the boardwalk. And I was talking to Tiffany about, we had a boardwalk balcony but we switched it to an ocean view and I'm really glad we did because we would have been not at the top where the balconies are but one down and we would have been right directly across from where I'm pointing I can't zoom in because this is a GoPro but if we would have been able to if that was our cabin we would have had that blocking us the slide blocking us because we thought we were going to be able to watch the uh, aqua show from our balcony but yeah there's too many things that are blocking that little line of sight or the view area so I'm glad we roiled up and got us a uh, ocean view balcony i'm gonna go eat you went with fruit again fruit plate fruit plate Tiffany got that fruit plate red fruit looking fruit plate all right and we have now just left roatan we actually fell asleep, so we missed the cell away. T and I took a little nap. So we're a little tired, so we took a little, little nap. We're still by Honduras, slowly exiting the area. We're leaving Honduras, and tomorrow we will be in Cozumel's. Bye bye, Roatan. Bye bye, sloths and monkeys and little doggies and everything and everybody that we met there. We gotta wake up or we might just continue taking that. Well, don't know yet, so bye bye. See you in a little bit.
about leaving Honduras, but never seen a rainbow in in the ocean. Yet there it is. How you doing? Hey, hello. There's my man. <laughs> I got to do the ship tour. And I will say this, the ship tour is going to be by far the hardest ship tour I've ever done on any cruise because of this massive ship. The last time I did a ship tour was on the Oasis and that took me pretty much all day. And this one's got even more. So it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to like bring extra batteries and all kinds of stuff. So we'll see how it goes, but I gotta pick one of those days. As I was walking in the elevator, as soon as I walked in, they go, are you a blogger? And I'm like, yeah. And they go, ugh. Gave me a dirty look and then gave me the story about how two other bloggers were in front of them during a show and they kept their cameras up and high over their heads to get the, to film the show in front of those two people that I was talking to and they were telling me how rude they were and how ugly they were and I'm like yeah I don't do that we sit in the back when I record I record with it right in front of me uh, you know and she kept going well, they were just horrible they were rude they shouldn't have done that I said okay next time you see them be nice to them turn around ask them what their uh, you know YouTube channels called they'll tell you because they want you to subscribe then you get on there and give them hell. Tell them that that was awful what they did and tell them what they did. They'll stop doing it. Oh my God. So we made a oopsie for the first time ever, ever. We were just sitting in our cabin, relaxing. Tea was working. I was watching the NCAA tournament selection and looked at the clock. We're supposed to be at hooked at seven. It was seven, 17. <laughs> My hair, yeah. 717. So we just flew out of the room, got here, and thankfully they let us. Yeah, obviously we are here because here's Hook. Uh, but we are over the solarium, which is really pretty. Nice table, nice sitting. Yeah, he was super cool about it. Yeah, he was like, oh, no worries. We got you. I'm like, oh, thank God. He goes, is it just you? I said, no, my wife's behind me. But like I said, we just got up. We didn't just get up, we were just, she was working. And like I said, I was watching television. Like we had, it just did not seem like it was seven o'clock. It felt like it was six. So anyway, we're here and we're gonna eat. So, whew. I was gonna show you what we ate, but as soon as it hit our plate, devoured it. So, sorry we oh. missed. And the crab cake was delicious. Yes, but we will show we will show you the sign. There's books. Sorry, I didn't show you the lobster, the fish, the shrimp, the mm. brownie. The, the, the service here was. Outstanding. No, the service. The guy that 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 waited on us. I mean, he literally sat there. Why is mine not working? There it goes. What? Twenty minutes and talked to us. No, I hit eleven. I don't know why. I don't know why. It didn't even stop there. Oh yeah, it did. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, the server, what was his name? Mario. Mario. Very funny. I mean, he, just a really good guy. 27, 27 years, years at company. the company. And he loves every minute of it. So So now we're head back to the room, change, then we're going to head down to the gym for a little bit. Yes, we're going to work out for three hours like we always do after we eat because we always want to work out our food, yes. uh, even though we had nothing but fruit and salad. Yes. Lion, lion, pants on fire. <laughs> so we're in the Royal Theater. We have a show. It's 10 o'clock. Our shows are late, but that's fine because it gives us plenty of time to eat, go back to the room, chill. So yeah, we're going to watch this show. It's called Tap, and I'm sure it's a drumming type of show, which I'm a drummer. I like drumming. I'm going to enjoy ourselves, have a good time, and yeah.
Welcome back. It is the end of night three. And we got back from the show. We saw tap. It was okay. It was a lot of tap dancing. I thought it was going to be more of a drumming thing, which it was. Uh, they had a contortionist, which pretty much grossed everybody out. The way he moved his body around, that was odd. But no, we had a great day. We went to Honduras, hugged the sloths, played with the monkeys. Tiffany avoided the bird. Uh, I got to see the birds up there. It rained on us pretty much all day. Went to the beach, didn't get in, uh, but we had a good time. It was a nice little excursion. Uh, got back to the ship. Uh, took a little nap. Woke up extremely late. Actually, we woke up in time, but we got busy with work over there. And I got busy just watching television, and we were late for our reservation for Hook. About 20 minutes. Luckily, they let us in anyway. And then we went and saw the show Taps. Went to the casino. Dropped 40. And now I'm here. So, that wraps up today. But so far love this ship you know the only thing i can say if you do excursions i've said this before try to book them through royal if you can't there are excursions that you can do in honduras especially they have a ton of excursions on at the port uh they are very very aggressive in honduras you know we even went to the little chocolate factory little kids trying to sell you bracelets when you go to the beach everybody was trying to sell you something i don't see how some of them do it because it looks like they carry about 80 pounds on their back walking up and down the beach so you know it is what it is but if you go to honduras just expect that as soon as you get off the ship they are on you and uh just one of those things very aggressive you know we enjoyed the drive through Honduras you really get to see the island I keep forgetting it's an island but all in all it was a good 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 excursion good trip good day so tomorrow we are at Cozumel and we didn't book anything for Cozumel I think we're going to stay on the ship for the most part tomorrow's the day I'm going to try to do the ship tour which is going to take me all day long because this is a big ship so i'm going to do the best that i can i'm going to take my gigantic stabilizer and camera so it'll be nice and smooth for everybody on youtube t obviously it's monday so she's going to have to work half the day unfortunately but hopefully by the afternoon we might be able to get off the ship and go just check the port out and just kind of walk around before the ship leaves end of day three and again tomorrow day four this trip is just flying by i hate that part of it just flying by by the way wait right there i found my first duck ever on a ship Thirty thousand cruises first duck and it was on somebody's doorknob so i found a duck finally and i'll read the duck it is from the Bates and Lines, Florida and Texas Cousin Cruise. Hmm. So shout out to Bates and Lines, Florida and Texas Cousin Cruise. There's your duck. I'm keeping it. I'm not going to re it because it's my first official duck I've ever found. It's itty bitty, but it's cute. So anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share. Tell your family. We're all here. We're here for you. I'm the wonder of the seas. So... See you tomorrow. Bye.